Hey guys, just Mike here, and welcome back to my FC United and Manchester save here on Football Manager Mobile 2016. I hope you guys are keeping well. Guys, it is the end of the season, but before that, we're going to obviously review the fixtures that I played off camera. So, guys, I am trying and again another slightly different style, so I hope you do like it. Uh, but if you don't like it, please just drop it in the comment section down below and kind of, you know, give some critical feedback on maybe how I could change it and what you'd like to see. But I hope you guys are enjoying it. The feedback on the last episode that I did with my JMPFC save was amazing. So we're going to go through some fixtures, show you some highlights of some games as well. And then we're also going to do an end of season review and just kind of have a look at some players and how they've performed and, and uh, done for the season. But without further ado, guys, let's get into the rundown of the fixtures that are played off camera. Oh, just make plays. Uh, three points in the bag and a 1 0 victory. You must be pretty happy with that. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I wasn't overly happy with the performance. Um, you can you can see from my expression that, you know, it wasn't the best footballing game. I mean, Brackley weren't exactly brilliant, but, you know, we were quite poor today. Um, I dressed a few things at half time. Obviously, I had to bring off Fallon, which was a bit of a blow, but it kind of got me thinking to, you know, how to change the structure slightly and, you know, we went more of a central kind of attacking in the in their kind of second half, I suppose you would say, um, due to the injury and that's where the goal came from. It came through the centre. Reese Turner picking up the ball, deep, turning and running at the defence and they had no answer to him. So, yeah, I, you know, at the end of the day, we deserve the three points. We got them. I'm a happy man. I have to say that was one of the best 1-1 draw games I've seen in a long time. Now, what are your thoughts on today's game? Yeah, I mean, you know, you don't normally um, see a 1-1 scoreline and think that was a game that, you know, that I want to watch. But for me, the guys today, I mean, it was a good game. It was a good advert for the game as well of, of lower league football. Uh, the lads just put in a really good performance. I mean, Tamworth were on, on song today. I mean, the first half, I think we had we were the stronger team. We definitely had more about ourselves. We were knocking the ball around really nicely. And Bradley kind of couldn't really respond to that. And he was definitely the them keep keep it kept him in the game in that first half but the second half you know they made some changes we made some changes their changes seemed to have a more impact on the game and yeah that goal was you know it was well worked you know hold my hands up to that one but I mean that, that goal from us that kind of you know drew us level I mean I don't think you'll see a better one this season and yeah I do think the point was, was well deserved I'm not going to lie that was a, a pretty shocking performance on your boys there um, you didn't look a happy figure on the touchline no you're right they weren't happy I wasn't happy at all it's an absolute shambles of performance. I mean, like, I know Kidderminster, they're a good team, you know, but I mean, we just didn't, we didn't put up a fight today. It was, it was embarrassing, to be fair. I mean, the, the lads knew how I felt at half-time. I tried to change things up. I've I seen things that weren't working, and I tried to change it up, but it didn't work. The, the lads stayed, oh, yeah, I was, just, I was just disappointed. I mean, you know, we put, a, we put a team out, and I thought they'd put in a performance, you know, to make the club proud. Normally they do. I don't, I don't know why they were so off today. But, I mean, credit to Kidderminster, though, that, you know, we played bad. They played really, really well as well. Nothing from them at all today. You know, they, they put in the performance. They, they, you know, had to beat what was put in front of them, and they did, and they beat us thoroughly. I mean, it probably should have been more than 1-0, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. But, you know, we'll go again. It's the first leg. We've got the second leg to come in. We'll bring it to them next time. A much improved performance on the lads today. You must have been really pleased with that and the result. What a result. That's what I'm, that's what that's kind of the thing that I want the response I want from the lads. You know, we had a really poor performance last week. I wasn't afraid to say what I thought the, the lads' performance is, but we've come out today and we've put on a show for our fans, and I'm, I hope they're happy with that one because the lads really could see that you know they took note of what we were said last week and they've gone and played their heart out today to beat Stockport. I know we're at home, but to beat Stockport at any level with the kind of you know resources they've got at their hands, and you know they're one of the bigger teams in the league. That's definitely a confident boost to us, and we know we can now push on. You know, playoffs is definitely is definitely there for the taking. Could we win it? You know, this is what I'm asking the boys now. Could we win this league? And then three points today are vital. Your team played so badly in the first leg of this cup run. Uh, what do you think was the turning point in today's game? Now that is a performance I can be happy with. I mean, the lads there, they put it all on the line. You know. I've, I was getting a bit worried, you know, it, it, took, it took a while for us to kind of get on the score sheet, but, oh my word, I mean, when we got that red card, I mean, Dan Ball, to be fair for me, it, I'm going to say it wasn't a red card, I'm going to put it out there, it wasn't a red card, I mean, yeah, it was definitely a foul, it was a yellow card, I don't think it was a straight red, I think the referee kind of almost ruined the match at that point, but to be fair, it kind of kicked us into gear, and I suppose in a way, 
you know, Dan Ball was having a good match. It was a real drag, you know, when you when you lose a player of his calibre. Oh. But saying that, you know, our performance from there on out was absolutely astounding. I can't fault the lads one bit for today's performance. We really took it to Kidderminster. We took them to extra time, and obviously, you know, it was a you know a minute of magic from them in that you know 116th minute or whatever it was. But yeah, I can't knock the lads for this one. You know, I, I, I ranted and raved them at last time. The performance, you know, wasn't there. They weren't showing passion, and today was the complete opposite. It's, kind of, it's how you kind of, you know, we've, you know, we've give a good account of ourselves, and I'm very proud of them. And you know, to go out in the second, you know, the semi-final to Kidderminster, it's not a bad thing. We've definitely put our names on the map. Some players now are going to be attracting some interest, and I, I actually hope I can keep them. Mike, another red card and uh, what, three points in the bag. What are your thoughts on today's match? Yeah, I mean, I've spoke to John. You know, he knows I'm not happy with it. It was, it was ridiculous. Stupid moment and uh, he'll, he'll, learn, he'll learn from it, you know. He'll learn from it. He won't do it again, surely. But um, to be fair, the red card for us was was a, was a good thing in a way. We weren't, we weren't at the races today. I'll, I'll admit that that first half surely were all over us they, they deserved the three points they probably still do deserve the three points I was I was happy when we kind of got the first goal back and I thought you know getting a point that's not bad you know we had some fighting in that you know second half well towards the end of the second half but return at the moment you know he's he's, he's a lad he's going places he's, he's definitely going somewhere and I'm hoping he's taking us with him as well but uh, can't let the lads three points it's another three points in the bag what, what else can I say Another decent performance on your team there, Mike. And, uh, yeah, another point on the board. You must be happy. No, you know what? I, I have disappointed. I mean, a point. I was, we were at home. We played well. But we weren't clinical enough today. The lads, they've put in a good shift, to be fair. I can't knock them for it. But I wanted the, we need the three points. I mean, this could be costly for us now. We need them three points. We can't be dropping points this time of the season. You know, we're pushing for promotion now. This is this is a realistic goal. We are pushing for promotion, and you know I don't want to go via the playoffs. I want to win this, but picking up a point here when you played so well, it's not it's not good. It's not good. So we'll go again next weekend, and we'll see what we can perform. Another red card for young Dan Ball. I know you defended him last time, but your your opinions still the same. Uh, but you know, was you happy with the performance overall? No, no. Look, I know, I know, I know. Like, I defended Dan Ball last time, but this time that was. Yeah, I don't know what that was, to be fair. I don't know what he was thinking. I mean, we were in we were in the ascendancy up until that point, And then, you know, we're having to fight the last 10 minutes of the match, trying to get back into the match and scrape a point, and he goes and does something reckless like that. I mean, I know he's, you know, he's young and stuff, but... Nah, I can't condone it. I mean, it's, 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 it's pissed me off, to be fair. It's really pissed me off, because I thought we could have grabbed a point. I don't, I don't want to be picking up points now. This is the time of the season when we want to be... We, we know, I can't, you know, we haven't... We've had a hit good run of form and, you know, we haven't been losing, but, yeah, it's just annoying. It's just really annoying. I mean, you know, Reese Turner did well to kind of, you know, drag us back into the match and, you know, we had Wolford done as well on the ball and, you know, the midfield, everything was clicking. We were working well to get back to the match. The first half was atrocious. We were, I thought we were done and buried, but, you know, I took them in. I didn't rant and rave. I just had a word of them. A stern word, but, you know, they kind of, it seemed to be clicking. Everything seemed to be going well. And then I thought, you know, we can make this. We've got to get a point out of this match. And then, yeah... Dan Ball, yeah, well, yeah, well, I've already said what I've said, but, um, as I said, you know, we all learn from it, hopefully, and, uh, next week, next weekend, lads, next weekend, I promise you, we'll, 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 we're going, we're going about this the right way, we'll get there, we'll get there. Another red card for your team today, is there a disciplinary problem at FC United of Manchester? Yeah, people keep saying you've got a disciplinary problem at FC United of Manchester, and you know what I say to them? Concentrate on your own teams, you know, look where we are and look where some of you are. It's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, we've got another red card today, but, you know, we've got three points. Three points in the bag and we're sitting fourth in the league. What, you know, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, you know, Jono shouldn't have done what he did again. And he's lost his, you know, he's lost his temper, but, other than that, today's performance, I, I promised you last weekend, we put in a shift and we put in a performance and we did just that. Field's gone in the fourth minute. An absolute bullet of a header. Flanagan, an absolute beast from midfield again. He, you know, Gerald-esque that was. And then Linfield, you know, talking of, you know, Liverpool legends. Linfield pops up with a goal. And they had no answer for us. They, they had nothing today. I, I was happy with the performance. Fully happy with everyone. All of them. 
Well, you've got to be happy with that result. Maybe could have won by a few more goals, though. What are your thoughts? Now, that is how you play football, I think. I mean, were you watching? I, yeah, yeah, no, I was watching. watching. I mean, I, I don't think the scoreline gives us justice here in this match. I mean, that is that was some good football from, from end to end, that was. I mean, I was, you know, we went 1-0 down. And I, I, did, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't worried. I, I kind of I felt the lads had it in them today. And that, yeah, that performance, it's got to be up there with one of my favourites we've had this season. That was an absolutely stunning performance for the lads. And... Should have been about six or seven nil. Really, their keeper was on top form today, and you know their defence worked really, really hard. But um, yeah, I'm obviously delighted with the three points. Very entertaining stuff from both teams today. Do you think you did enough to get the three points? No, you no. Know, I mean, I could come in here saying that we deserved the three points, and you know this and that and that. But that was a game. You've got to admit that was a good game of football. Six goals. I mean, Reece Turner for me at the moment. I mean, he's just so good. He's he's unplayable. I just. As I've, I've mentioned it before, but this lad is going places, and uh, yeah, he's taking us with him as well. I mean, he's, he's we're not a one-man team by any stretch of the imagination, but just when he plays well, I mean, just it does help the whole team. But you know, we've got other players pitching in, like Fanagan and stuff, and the Finnish lad. But well, can you pronounce his name? No, I can't pronounce his name, right? I know I can't pronounce his name, but that's why that's why I don't. But um, yeah, good guy. I mean, fly today. To be fair, they still kind of, they grafted and they you know they put in a shift as well. So all my respect goes out to them, but. Yeah, proper good game of football this was. Really happy with it. Weren't happy to go away with a point, but other than that, the, the game of football itself is, is the winner today, definitely, for sure. So there we have it, guys. That is my reaction to each of the games. I hope you kind of enjoyed that new little spin on the series. As you can see, we're sitting second in the league at the moment. Joint top, I suppose you could say, with Stockport, although their goal difference does mean that they need to lose on this final day of the season. It is the final game of the season, so we're going to see where we're going to go with this one, and hopefully we can pick up the victory, and hopefully Stockport will lose. We've both got tough games. To be fair, none of us have got an easy easy task ahead of us, but we're in a good run of form at the moment. I believe in the lads. We can get this done. We just need to perform on the day. So let's head over to the match highlights. Last game of the season and everything to play for is Harrogate to take on FC United of Manchester. Let's have a look at the highlights of this stunning game. Harrogate with an early corner. Locks the ball in and it's well defended. And Brown picks up the ball into Norton. Flanagan back to Brown. Into Norton. What a double save there from the keeper. Ball plays into Brown. Brown into Flanagan. Back to Brown. Into Norton. Oh, he snatched it. No one really wants to lose this game at the moment. Oh, as Mike Norton has pitched up an injury. What a devastating blow on what could be his final game for FC United of Manchester. Harrogate have got a throw in deep in the FC United of Manchester half here. And it's a decent attempt. Corner now as Harrogate put on the pressure, but it's well defended once again. Harrogate definitely in the ascendancy as Gascoigne finds Clayton out to Colbert. Colbert, Turner into the middle. FC United of Manchester working really hard to keep a clean sheet here. Corner here from Aragate as McWilliams goes over to take it. It's well defended once again by FC United of Manchester. And they've got a defending of the corner now. Colback this time with the corner. It's been cleared out. Turner. Oh, we've got it back. Plays it in. No, oh, it's bouncing around. Brown's got it now. Out the ball. Ball's found Wolf and then he's through. Corner to FC United of Manchester. It's poor, but it's fouled to Brown. That was close. Turner, out to Thurston, back out to Linfield, Linfield, oh my word, Ellis has put the ball into the back of the net, what a mistake. It's well worked in here as Turner plays the ball out to Thurston, Thurston out to Linfield. Linfield de delivers a dangerous ball in and Ellis obviously just doesn't get a shout from his defensive partner and he puts the ball into the back of his own net. Harrogate needs to respond, they've got a free kick here. Oh, it's close. They start with Taylor from the back. It's not very well, but ball finds Fallon. Fallon into Brown. Wolfenden. Turner. Have to go. It's well saved for the keeper. Taylor with the clearance. It's played back into Walker. Walker into the middle. Oh, it's close. We've got four minutes left of this first half. It's Brown. Fallon's Wolfenden. Taylor's peeled away. He's hit the bar. Oh, my. That was so close. Let's just watch this again. Lovely ball played in by Brown here. Wolfenden sees the run of Turner. He slots through the middle. And, oh, he's so close. We go in at half time and it's FC United of Manchester 1, Harrogate 0. FC United of Manchester started on the front foot in this second half. They play the ball in Turner, but he snatched his shot. Thurston with the throw in, Linfield. Linfield turns to Turner, to Brown. Wolfington. Oh, nice bit of cheeky skill there. Williams now plays the ball down. Colbach's in a turn of space. Fence get over to cover. It's into Knowles. He's getting closer. 
That's going picks the ball up on his left. Well dispossessed there. Turner now is through. Plays into the middle. Wolf and just couldn't quite get it on target. Another corner for FC United of Manchester to do with us to get rid of the ball here. But it's played back in. It's scrambled in. 1-1. One, one. Game on. The corner just wasn't really well defended here. The ball was played back out. Comes into the middle and Kerry was in the right place at the right time. There are picks of the ball. Plays into Knowles. Knowles called back. Oof. He's at the bar. Another corner for Harrogate here is the play the ball into the middle. It's not really dealt with the game, but they get away with it this time. Well defended by FC United of Manchester. Lovely Coons. Wolfenden's through. He snatched at his shot there. He had time, he had space. Fallon now comes forward with tons of space and time in this right hand side. Plays the ball into the middle. Wolfenden, well defended by Harrogate. Wolfenden over to take the corner now. Plays into the middle. It's gone straight through. What a waste. Quick with a free kick. Wild intercepted is Brian now. It's been well defended to Brown. Wolfenden into Fallon that's probably going to be the last attack of the match there. FC United of Manchester trying to go for the win, but couldn't quite convert it. The referee had looking his watch. He can't be long now. That's there. Ball draw. 1-1. One, one. Oh, disappointed isn't the word, lads. So, yeah, as you can see, we're third in the league. We've blown our chance of automatic promotion. But we are in the playoffs, though, so definitely positive to take from that. But yeah, I would have liked automatic promotion. So guys, I'm going to quit this episode here because it's been going on for so long anyway. And I'm going to join us back in the playoffs. But before then, I'm going to sort of skip forward and quickly just see who we draw in the playoffs. So guys, we are back and we have drew AFC Telford. So I'm sure that Chonzi will be relishing to see my AFC United and Manchester team top all his mighty AFC Telford. If you have enjoyed this episode, guys, please show your support by smashing the like button. And as always, guys, I will speak to you legends soon.